John Schroeder is in many ways a typical prostate cancer patient. 66, healthy, no prostate symptoms, but a PSA level that had been climbing for a few years. I did the biopsy just to prove that I did not have prostate cancer. And that came back positive. So like most men in his position, he had to choose between surgery and radiation. I didn't want surgery. I wanted radiation. Trouble is, John has ulcerative colitis. And because of where the prostate sits in the pelvis, radiation was out of the question. There are certain side effects to any form of radiation that have to do with the tissues that are right around the prostate. And that's the bladder and the rectum. So men can get uh, bladder or rectal irritation, frequency. Sometimes they can get bleeding or ulceration. But then John heard of a new material the FDA had approved to protect the rectum during prostate radiation. It's a kind of gel called space OAR. The idea is simply to separate the prostate from surrounding tissues. It doesn't absorb or block the radiation. It just moves the rectum out of the way enough for the beam to come in and not hit the, the rectal tissues. Dr. Soffin demonstrated how it's done on a training model. Under ultrasound guidance, a long needle injects the gel in the space between the prostate and rectum. The soft cushion lasts at least three months, after which it harmlessly dissolves. John was then able to safely have 44 radiation treatments. I still have ulcerative colitis, but there was no damage done to the rectum. No damage done to the, to the colon. And Dr. Max tells us the gel costs about $3,000 and so far is covered on a case-by-case -case basis, although Medicare is considering approving it.